Hey, Dave Lacalio, welcome to Head Games Motorworks, and we're going to talk about Valve Guide Reaming today. Check it out. Valve Guide Reaming is a very misunderstood thing. I feel like people don't understand that you can't just install a guide and then put a valve in it and it's ready to go. You have to size it. The reason for this video is people lost their minds when they saw us using a hand drill for reaming a valve guide. Well, there's a reason for that, and that's because we use the Goodson Racing. They make a guide station where we can ream our valve guides and it has recirculating oil, and it works very well for doing the job that we needed to do. So some of you might wonder, what is valve guide reaming? Well, when you take it out of the package, this is what you get. The valve guide is not sized. Uh, if you're gonna put a valve in it, then it's gonna be very, very tight and Although the hole is close, it's not the size. Now, what size? That's a personal preference. You can decide what to do. Every shop has their uh, preference of where they want to put it at. So what we do is uh, we get a, we have custom reamers because of our uh, personal preference of what size we want. And we put a reamer in and then this reamer will size the guide. So in order to get this right, we need to know what size the valve is. The valve size, is, we're talking about the valve stem size. Now you might see them in the catalog or something is saying like they are 235, right? But you really need to know what number it is because tenths mean something in this arena. So you take a micrometer and you would measure the valve stem. So we are at 235 for a stem diameter. Once we know that, we know what size reamer we can use. Manufacturers use different stem diameters and you can't just like say, pick something for a 2JZ and then everything's gonna magically work. Uh, there's actually some manufacturers we won't even use because their stem diameters are just so far all over the place that we don't wanna get involved. We get custom reamers made from Dakota Parts Warehouse and we get them made for what type of valve we're gonna be using. So we make our, uh, our packages surrounding about our tooling. Uh, so this is a 2362 uh, reamer, and this is a 235 measured valve. So now that means that we have a thousandths and two tenths of clearance. Give you a little overview of the Goodson Guide Station. This is what we're gonna be using today. So we got it on, what happens here is that there is honing oil and the honing oil comes actually out of here so this honing oil you want to put it on the valve guide that you're working on and it'll recirculate and it comes back through here see nice clean fluid we're all about calling this a head games this is the part that everybody freaks out about we're using a hand drill which is what the guide station is designed to use to ream the guide how is that straight let me show you. So this reamer, right, is tapered. And the reamer is tapered almost the entire length of this valve guide. So it's tapered up to, you can see here, it almost comes out. Then you're ready to cut. So there's no, no way of it being in any other direction than straight. So you put the reamer in, you got the fluid on it. The fluid helps it so it doesn't grab and then keep the wind surface thing and go through the guide. And now the guide is sized. How do we know the guide size? Let me show you. We use this for, it's a in, inner diameter dial bore gauge and we stick it in here. It's perfect. This is where we want it. If we're going to be off, we want to be off big, not small. Too loose, you know it. Too tight, everybody knows it. Take a video, I'm not going to show you the next step, which is cleaning out the valve guide and blowing it all out. There's no reason to do all that. But I just wanted to show you. So now the valve can go through. As I said, it wouldn't go before. And uh, everything is quite clearance. See, it spins. And you know it spins. That is a good sign that this thing is, and this is dirty. So you can wiggle it. You can do anything we have the correct clearance there's no need to freak out when you see a hand drill being used for reaming a valve guide it's just not it's how it's designed to work that's it for me today hope you guys learned something and maybe even enjoyed it so be sure to like subscribe comment below i'm always in the comments 
Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what I did wrong. I'm okay with that too. I always hear it anyway, right? So see you next time. Toodles.